Hi, this is Dr. Robby. Please leave a message. Robby, it's been three days. Where are you? The children keep asking about you. I don't, I don't know. I've, I've given up on you. What sort of a therapist solves the world's problems but can't figure his own shit out? Come home already, Robby. Please. Honestly, I'm done sitting here clueless day after day. I have a lot of questions waiting to be answered. And let's be straight, you can't seem to answer any of them. All I want to know is why that fucked up woman just decided to leave one night out of the blue. At first I thought, you know, it's okay. It's okay, I'll just bed someone else and it'll all be okay. But clearly, it isn't. I don't know where she is or how she is. I can't get through to her in any way. It's like one day she's there and the next day she's just gone. I know. I know it was my rage that drove her away. But is this the solution? And do you think you would have taken it well? But I knew she's there. Well, it's not like I'm taking it well right now, am I? React a little calmly. I promise you, you will get to her. You're doing good, Akko. Am I? Joe, wait a second, Joe. Listen, I've already missed the first half. I don't want to miss the second half. So if you can please... Oh, and you plan to do it on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, when was the last time you were home on a Sunday? Don't let me be smart, Elida. I can't believe I missed the first half because of that. It's just a bunch of hopeless people expressing blind faith in something that doesn't even exist. People live in horrid times, Joe, and faith or even blind faith is the only thing they have. Blind faith. Idiots. It's like watching your own house burn and not even doing anything about it. Just praying to God that it all stops. Fire causes panic and people hopelessly pray for something and end up taking whatever comes their way. That's the problem, right? Taking whatever comes their way. The world is full of facades. And you know what? I'm done with all these facades. Well, you can't put it up effectively at home. Uh, try doing it outside. Hi, Aunt Rita. Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, Joe is fine. Yes, yes, it, it, it's a scholarship, yeah. Yeah, Ma would have been proud. Yes, it's just going to be the two men in the house now. Yes, I'll see you. Yeah. All right, yeah, bye. Are you okay? You knew that this would... This would make me feel horrible, right? I mean, me and him alone in that house. And you still had to take it. Listen, you have to accept this all, right? I've worked extremely hard for it. It's all about taking whatever comes your way. Taking whatever comes your way. Okay, so tell me. In times of trouble, you just want to befriend and find solace in a person who started the fire? Huh? And what about Ma? Listen, Elida, maybe you are helpless and fear-stricken. But then I'm sorry, I can't put a facade like that anymore. For anyone. Thank you.
address. Uh, hi, uh, I found this envelope with your address in my cab. I thought I'd drop it by. Okay, thanks. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, could I have a glass of water, please? Yeah. Someone found the envelope in the cab. Yeah, I know. So I'll see you soon. In about half an hour. Okay. This your girl? Mm. How old is she? She was six. I'm sorry. Was? Yes. When she passed. I'm really sorry for you and your husband. Well, he passed with her in an accident. It must be horrible living like this. How long ago did it happen? It's been two weeks. Isn't it really, really... Listen. Thanks for the envelope, but if you're done, please. Ma'am, I was only being nice. Someone I loved has left and honestly, it sucks. So I thought I'll talk about it. That's what my therapist tells me to do. He thinks it helps. Maybe what you have now is what you always wanted. But you don't seem to understand that I don't want to live with him anymore. Listen, let's not take this home with us right now. There's nothing you can do. You have to make peace with it just the way I did. No, I don't have to. I told you I'm coming soon. When exactly soon? I'll take a bit. They aren't home yet. So what? So? I'll take some time. Why? I need to get some stuff done. Robbie, I'm not one of your patients, so stop treating me like one. When the fuck are you going to be here? I need some time. Your wife's been dead for three years. And you're still a bloody wimp, wimped all your life. Same story then, same story now. Who are you scared of? Well, I'm whipped by you now, so it's not too different. Robbie, stop being such a disappointment for everyone around you. For once be a man. I mean, you've practically killed a woman by disappointing her. How do you even live with yourself? Well, you know what? Stay where you are. I hope I never have to see you again. I mean it. You are at an age where you need your father the most. No, I don't. I don't need shit.
This is Dr. Robbie. Please leave a message.